climb the ladder to retrieve the briefcase. One in five odds to make history. 20% chance to become Mr. Money in the Bank. Welcome to Sold Out. One man's career will be changed here tonight. And for the others, theirs might be shortened. Welcome to AFWE Sold Out. In tonight's main event, Bobby Lashley wrestles his first match in AFWE versus Kenny Omega for the World Championship. But now, it's money in the bank time to open the show. In an exclusive live AFWE segment, The Shield disbanded. Will Rollins start his singles runoff right by winning the Money in the Bank briefcase? The newest member of the Hurt Business is making their way to the ring. Apollo Crews, MVP and Bobby Lashley's stablemate Bobby Lashley in the main event tonight looks to win the AFWE World Championship. And Apollo Crews right now, he could bring even more gold to the Hurt Business. The Cowboy, the Hangman has arrived to Money in the Bank. This could be huge for the former television champion if he can win the Money in the Bank briefcase right now and maybe win back some gold in his cash in. Oh. But not if this bro has anything to say about it. It's Matt Riddle. That's Pete Dunne, Pete Dunne, looking to start this match off early. And there goes Apollo and Seth Rollins. Hangman diving to the outside onto both Riddle and Dunne. Seth Rollins onto the apron, off the ropes. Oh my goodness! A blockbuster! And down goes Riddle, straight onto the poker chips. Pete Dunn with a back body drop. Hangman implemented the first ladder into this ring, but Apollo's the first one to use it. A gut wrench suplex, and Hangman with a power bomb, straight onto Rollins and the ladder. No, Pete Dunn with that poker chip. Busting Riddle wide open. Dunn has the second ladder. Hangman drop kicks the ladder. And Rollins with a stomp. Straight onto the metal ladder. And Rollins is the first to make the climb. Will he be the last? Pete Dunn has something to say about that. With a power bomb. Straight into the ladder. Back first. And now Apollo with a ladder of his own. Two ladders in the center of the ring. They're fighting it out. Pete Dunne is the arm and an arm bar. An arm bar on the top of the ladder. Apollo Crews has nowhere to go. And Rollins looks to join the fray with an arm bar of his own. Both arms of Apollo Crews are locked into an arm bar. What's Apollo going to do here? The strength of Apollo with a power bomb to Pete Dunne. He goes crashing off the ladder, but a hurricane run up by Rollins. Off the ladder, and Paige is back into the match with a huge lariat, flipping Apollo Crews inside out. Dead eye, perhaps, straight to Pete Dunne, and it connects. A dead eye, planting Dunne straight onto his head. And Rollins is back up that ladder. But look who's back. Matt Riddle's back with an insecurity. An insecurity kick. No. A bro Derek straight off the ladder. I cannot imagine the heaps of pain that Rollins is in. But now, Apollo Crews, this could be his moment. Riddle closes the ladder. He closes the ladder and causes Apollo Crews to fall off it. Riddle positioning the ladder, but Hangman! A spine buster in Rollins! Rollins is all the way at the top of the ladder! All the way up top! Frog splash! A frog splash! Now Pete Dunn! With an X-Plex! An X-Plex by 
by Pete Dunn. Pete Dunn looks to be in control. Riddle counters the suplex with a suplex of his own onto the ladder. And now Riddle looking for the pro Derek, but look at the strike of Apollo. Apollo lifts him up for a super pro Derek onto the ladder. We know the history of the Broserweights and Rollins with a super kick, sending Apollo onto the ladder. Now Hangman sends Rollins to the outside. Rollins to the outside of the ring. And now Hangman, he's looking to climb the ladder and retrieve the briefcase. Rollins has that ladder. Apollo punches him off with a moonsault. Straight on the Rollins, straight on to the outside. Riddle's back and Apollo's going at it with him. Riddle, a spear! A spear through the ladder, straight to the outside. Oh my goodness, Hangman with the ladder buck shot Larry. Straight to Pete Dunn, the odds on favorite. And Hangman, this could be all she wrote. Hangman Adam Page could win the money in the bank briefcase. And he does. This is a career changing moment for Hangman Adam Page. But let's take a look back at the instant replays from this matchup. All of these men putting their bodies on the line, doing ridiculous things, all for the money in the bank briefcase. But only one man could stand up tall, and it's the Hangman. It's Hangman Adam Page. The big dog Roman Reigns. He's got to keep his emotions intact as he faces the fiend, Bray Wyatt. Roman Reigns has been calling and calling for the fiend to show up in their X Division Championship match. And finally, he got what he wanted as the fiend showed up on episode 28. Will he show up tonight as Roman is awaiting his opponent? Still waiting. Oh, what was that? Roman Reigns has just gotten knocked out by something. Where? What am I doing here? Listen, Roman. I've been watching over you in your career here. A running pattern is that you have never gotten anywhere. Let's change that, starting at your roots. Where's the exit to this place? Newsflash, Roman. Just sitting on your couch, waiting to get booked. Won't get you booked, sadly. Go do something. Go tell AJ you're sick of sitting and watching. How did you get on my TV screen? I get your complaints, Roman, but sadly, I don't have any plans for you right now. I can't fit you on the card anywhere. Afraid? I have I no plans? Complaints, this is stupid! I'm afraid I have no plans for you right now. I'm sorry. That's how it's done, Roman. Don't just be Mr. Nice Guy anymore. The Fiend has finally arrived! And Roman's woken up! But the Fiend with a Uranagi! Straight to Reigns! Reigns still has to be feeling that blow with whatever that was! But why with his sister Abigail? And that is it! Ray Wyatt retains his X Division Championship in a breeze! Roman was out for a while, man. I don't even know what Bray Wyatt hit him with, but it must have been effective. All three members of the New Day have matches here tonight, and Big E looks to drape the New Day all with gold as he looks to claim the Gladiator Championship. But that's a tough task if you're facing this man.
Damian Priest has been holding on tight to that Gladiator Championship ever since defeating Willie Finesse at Cyber Sunday. He looks to defend it here tonight against Big E. We haven't seen Big E in the ring yet. And I'm excited to see what Big E can do in the ring here tonight in this Gladiator Championship match. The lights are back on, and referee Mark Studd taking the Gladiator Championship away from Damian Priest. And he holds it up high. That's all what it's for. The Gladiator Championship, E versus Priest. There's the bell, and there's the lockup. Damian Priest and Big E. This is bound to be a hard-hitting matchup. Now Priest with a falcon arrow early. Straight into another headlock. Overpowering the champion, but he gets out of the big ending with a huge kick. Straight to the back. A quick cover right there, but at the same time a quick kick out by Big E. Big E still in this matchup. And a belly to belly suplex. Getting out of that leg lock. And Big E is in control. Off the ropes with a big splash. A big splash straight to Damian Priest and into the corner Priest goes to the outside. What could be looking for here? A back body drop straight onto the apron to the outside. What a back body drop onto the hardest part of the ring. He's positioned on the apron. Big E with a spear through the ropes. Damian Priest is neck. But Priest is back into this matchup. Looking like he didn't even break a sweat. Big E's still kicking out though. What does Damian Priest have to throw at him? I know what he has to throw at him. The Reckoning. Oh no. Big E gets out of it. But gets caught with a German suplex for his troubles. And now, south of heaven. He gets out of it. And oh, they both collide. They both were looking for a cross body. Big E goes into the cover, and Priest still has life left in him. Sends Priest onto the turnbuckle here. They're heading up top. Super big ending, perhaps. He caught him with a reckoning. He caught him with a reckoning out of midair. And what a way to retain your championship. Damian Priest is still your gladiator champion. What a match, a hard hitting matchup here tonight for the Gladiator Championship. But Damian Priest seemed to have the upper hand here over the debuting Big E. This is only their second match as a team, but DIY has a championship opportunity here tonight. Johnny Gargano, he doesn't have the best experience here in AFWE not winning a single championship. But that could all change here tonight with his partner Tommaso Ciampa. The champs are making their way to the ring. Big E lost his match against Damian Priest earlier on tonight. Can the New Day avenge his loss by retaining their tag team championships here tonight? Or will we see new champions? Both belts held up high. And it looks like Kingston and Ciampa are gonna start this match off. Locking up, Kofi Kingston grabs the waist. A waist lock right there. Ciampa's got a hold of the head. But Kofi Kingston now powers him. A tag made to Woods early. A super kick by Woods into a headlock driver. A tag team maneuver there. Woods sending Ciampa off the ropes, but Ciampa with a clothesline, shifting the momentum into a cover, but Woods kicking out. Tommaso Ciampa not taking his foot off the gas with an air raid crash, tagging in Johnny Gargano for the first time in this matchup. Woods with an elbow, but a Pele kick by Gargano. Now, reverse DDT by Gargano. And that headlock for a suplex. Woods reverses with a suplex to the outside of his own. I don't know who got the worst of 
of that. It looks like Woods didn't, but he did get the Tornado DDT straight onto the outside. Both men punishing each other here. Kofi coming to the aid of Woods, but Gargano with a cross body onto Woods. Kofi barely got clipped there. He's still feeling a little bit of the effects. And there goes Woods onto the inside of the ring. And now Gargano. But wait, Woods got the knees up. Attack to Kofi. Mushroom stomp. In the boom drop. A boom drop into the cover. Hooks both legs. But Gargano still powering out. Kingston sizing him up for the trouble in paradise. He ducks it with a super kick. Now Tag made the Choppa. Tommaso Choppa's in this match. And he hits the fairy tale ending. We can have new champs if he hits this knee strike. No, he ducks out of the way and sends him onto the ring. Now, oh wait, a German suplex into a final B. One final B and the knee strike. Straight to the back of the head of Kingston. We can have new champions and we do. DIY are your new tag team champions. What a win for this new partnership. Gargano and Ciampa are tag team champions. Off this is Kenny Omega and Bobby Lashley into their respective corners. The following contest is your main event of the evening, and it is set for one fall. And it is for the AFWE World Championship. Introducing first the challenger from Junction City, Kansas. Weighing in at 273 pounds, being coming to the ring by Montel Vontavious Porter, MVP, Bobby Lashley. Introducing his opponent, the champion. From Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, weighing in at 224 pounds, he is the AFWE World Champion, the cleaner, Kenny O. Lock in your final selections right now as we are about to get going. There's the bell in one of the biggest matches in AFWE history is about to get going. Lock up, but wait, Kenny Omega with a punch straight to the face denying the lock up. Lashley overpowering the ground and pound with a belly to belly suplex. Straight into the turnbuckle. Now, for suplex perhaps, he gets out of it. Kenny Omega off the ropes. V trigger caught with a power bomb into the turnbuckle. Lashley with a huge clothesline and a big boot for good measure. Now, on his shoulders, a poison Rana. A poison Rana by Kenny Omega with a clothesline. Kenny Omega claims that he hit him low. Boy, he's ringing the bell. He's ringing the bell. This match is over. Kenny
Kenny Omega has just won by disqualification. I did not see where he hit him low. This He's match is match. now a no disqualification match. Anything goes now. And Kenny with the belt. Busting Bobby Lashley wide open and removing the turnbuckle. This is Kenny's domain, but Lashley sends him to the outside. He banged his head on the apron, and Lashley looking to grab a steel chair from the outside and hits Kenny over the back with the steel chair. And now Lashley just pounding down with that steel chair on the Kenny Omega. When is he going to stop? Now positioning that chair. Bobby Lashley teaching us a valuable life lesson. And he could be looking for the Dominator straight onto the chair. But a Bulldog. A Bulldog by Omega in the chair. Dripping in blood now. Wait, he caught him. Looking for the one wing Angel. But Lashley, he gets out of it with a spear. A spear. This could be it. We could have a new champion. No, not yet. And Kenny transitions into a cross face. A cross face. And now a Lutefest press. He's got blood on his fingers. Look for a brain buster. Lashley gets out of it with a power slam. Straight onto the solid steel chair. A power slam. But Kenny reverses. Sending Lashley to the outside. What a tope con he low by Kenny Omega. Kenny Omega, he can retain his championship right here. Wait, he's got a trash can, what's in there? Oh no, he's got thumbtacks, but a hurt lock by Lashley. And transitioning that into a slam. Straight onto the tip of that trash can. Omega's back has to be shot. And now, straight into the exposed turnbuckle post. And a urinagi. Straight onto the thumbtacks. The thumbtacks sticking out of his back. He's picking them out of his back. Oh my goodness. Lashley looking for the hurt lock. But Kenny throws a thumbtack in his face. What a smart move by the champ. With all the head trauma, this V-trigger could put him away. This V-trigger could put him away right here. One, two, but Lashley. Lashley still kicking out for some reason. He is still in this matchup. And Kenny Omega is getting frustrated. He's picking up that steel chair with the blood still on it. And straight to the back of Lashley. Straight to the back of Lashley with that chair. And now he could be looking for a Michinoku driver. Straight onto the chair. Into the cover. He's got one, he's got two, but he doesn't have three. This match is still going on. How is Lashley still in it? The powerhouse he is. Kenny Omega complaining to the referee, but he shoves him down. This is no disqualification. He can do whatever he wants. Now, you cannot escape. Looking for that moonsault now. Caught with a spear. He got caught with a spear. Straight out of midair. A spear by Bobby Lashley. A spear straight out of the moonsault. And he could be looking for the hurt lock. He's got the hurt lock locked in. Kenny Omega cannot escape the hurt lock, ladies and gentlemen. Kenny. Kenny's fading. Kenny's fading. He's asleep. We have a new champion. Bobby Lashley is the AFWE champion. Bobby Lashley has done it. Kenny Omega is crying. Kenny is crying, ladies and gentlemen. He just lost his AFWE World Championship to the almighty Bobby Lashley in the almighty era has begun. A brutal bow, Bobby Lashley closes the show as your new AFWE World Heavyweight Champion. What was that? You just saw what I saw, right? 
What? What was that? Sounded almost like a heartbeat. What was that? When the foundation cracks, everything changes. Once it hits, ground zero.